And now, your weather authority, Ron Young. Certified the most accurate forecast in the Arklatex. Welcome back, everybody. You're looking at your Texarkana New Holland Sky Cam in Texarkana, right down on Kennedy Lane at Summerhill Road. Texas high in the background, plenty of clouds across the area, but so far, no significant rainfall. We have a little disturbance in the upper levels of the atmosphere. In fact, a couple of them that are moving across the area right now. The old uh, Omega Block has got a little kinks going on with it. So we are watching this system come in. Now, uh, there may be a little better chance of rain back down to the southeast, but note these in blue here and a little bit of green. The problem is, here's the rain, here's some dry air, and here we are. So as it falls through the dry air, it has a tendency to evaporate before it gets to the ground. So a sprinkle or two, can't rule it out, but humidity levels down here are fairly well dry too. 57% humidity in Texarkana and in Shreveport. 57 up in De Queen, uh, Idabel that is, De Queen, don't have that one there. 71% over there in uh, Mount Pleasant and going all the way down to Natchitoches, 64%. So it could be a lot worse. Wind speeds, less than 10 miles an hour across the area. Now tonight with very light winds, once again, we may see some patchy fog during the morning hours tomorrow. But here is the satellite radar composite. Our old system is still down to the south, the cold front, but not coming this direction. Now this is showing everything that's top to bottom, but Take, uh, bear in mind that most of this is evaporating before it gets to the ground. We have a new system up in the Pacific Northwest, but our next system that's going to come in will be another disturbance moving across the area. And there is some talk of a late week cold front. Not buying it just yet. So let's go to your Robbins Toyota future cast and show you that we will have by Monday morning at 7 o'clock we're looking at a cloudy sky. We tend to lose some of the clouds and have a little sunshine on your Monday as well. As we go into your Tuesday, there are some clouds moving back in, but basically we're going to see some sunshine across a good chunk of the area. For a couple of days, mostly sunny skies will be mostly welcome, but we're going to see rising temperatures as well. Off to our west on Tuesday, some more shower activity and even thunderstorm activity, but for us, it's going to be Wednesday starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to give it 30%. And the majority of it is going to stay across the western half of the Arklatex. By the time we hit Wednesday, 7 p.m., most of it is going to be over. And then we have some sunshine and we get a little cool down behind it, but not much of one. And as we go to Thursday, 8 a.m., we are going to still see some clear skies, but look at this. A little over an inch of rainfall. As I said, most of this is gonna be across the western and northwestern parts of the Arklatex. Only 1300s in Shreveport, but over in Marshall, possibility of half an inch. One inch in Idabel and Broken Bow, three tenths of an inch as we go into De Queen. So here's how everything shapes up for the next seven days. The next couple of days are gonna be kinda of nice. Either side of 60, either side of 60, we'll be in the low 80s rising into the mid 80s and that rain will drop us back just a tad in the morning down to 63. Only a 10 percent chance on your Thursday with a partly cloudy sky. Friday mostly sunny skies 86 but your weekend good grief mother nature what are you doing either side of 90 degrees. Wow we'll be right back. <laughs> 